Okay, hi everyone. I am back with your 3.1.5 lesson. Is there a more efficient way? Completing the web. In this section, you have been working with you will you have been working with multiple representations of portions of holes. In lesson 3.1.4, you worked with your team to find ways of comparing one expression of a portion to another. Today you will continue to find new and efficient ways to convert one representation into another. As you work with your team today, use the questions below to help focus your discussion. How can we convert to another representation? What patterns do we see? And why does this strategy make sense? So we're gonna start with problem 367. Converting between percents and decimals. Alejandro wants to find a shortcut for changing a percent to an equivalent decimal. Work with your team to investigate how to make this change quickly. Each person should build a different portion on a 100% block and then name the portion as a percent and a decimal. Combine the results from your team in a table like the one at right. So I have actually created my own team's drawings right here. So this is 100% block paper. So you are going to write each of these, and I'll put it back on the screen in a second, underneath part A as a percent and as a decimal. So go ahead and pause your video right now so that you can see this paper. And you're going to write each one of those as a, as a percent and a decimal. And when you're done, we'll move on. Okay, we're actually going to fill in that table in class. But part B says, with your team, find ways to describe any patterns, any patterns you see. So you are going to pause the video again and describe any patterns that you see. Okay, if you're back with me, that is awesome. That means you have tried part B. We are skipping part C and we're going to go over 367 in class. A and B at least. If you flip it over, we have parts D, re, 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 rewrite, I'm sorry, the following percents as decimals. And part E says now reverse your thinking to rewrite the following decimals as percents. So you're going to pause the video and answers part D and E. Okay, if you're back with me, that means you have finished problem 267, and we are now going to move on to problem 269. 269 says complete each representations of a portion web below. So I'm going to do the first one with you, and then you are going to be responsible for the rest. So we have 72%. We need to write 72% as a decimal and a fraction. So let's start with a fraction first. So remember, percent is per every 100. So your fraction, I'm going to write it down here, would be 72 over 100. Your decimal, so this is going to be 72.0, you move it 2 to the left, would be 0 0.72. I'm hoping with the work that we've done in class that this section is kind of easy for you. Go ahead and finish B, C, and D, and we will finish, we will go over those when you come back to class. If you have any questions, as always, please email me.